Fuck all these niggas and bitches, they dead to me. I got the sauce, I got the remedy. Say my dog, but act like an enemy. I make a call and turn you to cannon. I'm wasting my time, I'm wasting my energy. Shot for my confidence, shot for a better. So, as y'all can see in that clip, that last clip, the Lakers ended up defeating the Phoenix Suns to advance in the semifinals of the NBA in season tournament. And obviously, there's some controversial calls, no calls, that should have been called for the Phoenix Suns they, for them to get the ball and get the possession and at least try to have a chance to tie the game up. But we're in this video, we are going to be talking about how this NBA in-season tournament has been amazing. What's good, y'all? It's your boy. We're back again with another video. I'm going to say this. Alvin Silver, you're cooking. First, you started with the bubble. We know what happened to that back in 2020. You started with the bubble. Controversial, questionable, still panned out. The Lakers won. Then you got the, the play-in situation. It's actually panning out. It started back in 2021, I believe, or 2021, 20, 20, 22. Play in when you got teams that's fighting for that spot. They ended up getting in. That panned out. Now we got this situation. And you know how ironic this is? This All three of these situations work out for the LA Lakers. Look, back in 2020, the bubbles, the bubble season. LeBron and the Lakers won. He got his fourth ring. He ended up beating... The Miami Heat in the NBA Finals. The play-in situation last year, they was in the play-in. They beat the Minnesota Timberwolves. And then they ended up upsetting the Memphis Grizzlies. They got to the Western Conference Finals. And now look at this situation this year. The LA Lakers, led by a 75-year-old man, just still killing the game like he's back in 2009. And they advanced to the semifinals. And it looking like it's looking like, in my opinion, the Lakers are gonna win the end season tournament. But I'm gonna explain how amazing this tournament's been. One, it's generated more excitement for players to really play for something. They're playing for money. They're playing for 500 k So players, when they hear that type of money, they're like, oh, oh yeah, we gotta really play now. You seen the younger teams, the Indiana Pacers. You seen the Memorial Pelicans. You seen the Nash Sacramento Kings to lesser degree, even though they lost. You seen these teams really competing at a high level for real. In December, not March, not April, not even February. December, and that has elevated the game to the next level of excitement to watch the game. And really critique on how these players have been performing. Really critique how these teams have been performing. Really critique all these trash refs making terrible no calls, terrible calls, and just ejecting players for no reason. It's, it's bringing more to the game. I, honestly, NBA hasn't been this, more, this much exciting in a minute. And this easy to determine is the reason. Look how Tyrus Halliburton is playing. The Indiana Pacers had the number one offense in the league. 
Did y'all see that crowd versus the Celtics? Did y'all see that crowd? Did y'all see that bitch? Come on, man. Now we're going to see them play in Vegas. And mind you, the, the Super Bowl is in Vegas too. So Vegas has a lot of, they have a lot of stuff going on, panned out in a in couple weeks, in a couple months. So we're going to see how everything pans out in Vegas. Now here are the matchups. We got the Lakers, Pelicans. Remember, back in 2018, 19, Lakers ended up trading Brandon Ingram and a lot of picks for Anthony Davis. Now we fast all the way forward to this year. We're going to see who really wins. Obviously, the Lakers won. But now the Pelicans got Zion. They got Cesar McCollum back. They, got, they still got Brandon Ingram. They got this young young uh, stud in Jordan Hawkins. The Pelicans are going to be playing for something. They really finally get them really match up versus the Lakers and really pay play for something like like this is like the playoffs. We're gonna see how that matchup goes. Then we got the Pacers versus the Bucks. Tyrese Hill and Burton, him Burton, is going up against Giannis and Dame. Now the last matchup, Giannis dropped fifty plus. But Dane wasn't playing, and they ended up losing to Tyrese Him Him and Burton when he dropped 29 and a lot of assists. I think it's a different story this time. Since you got Dane now, I think the Bucs are gonna win this one. And it's probably gonna be about it's gonna be a close game, but I think the Bucs gonna plan to pull it out. I don't think Indiana has enough defense at all to really stop make key stops like they did versus Boston. I think Milwaukee is gonna pull this one out. So it's gonna be Lakers and Bucks, in my opinion. Giannis versus a 75-year-old LeBron James. And then you got Giannis and Dane versus, you know, LeBron and AD. You know, Dane versus D'Lo. Dane's going to win that. It's all, this game's about matchups, especially the tournament. It's going, it's going to be about matchups. And who's going to fulfill the matchup? Who's going to succeed? Who's going to pan out more between their matchups? Feel me? So, you know, Brooke Lopez versus, I'm pretty sure, I don't think it's going to be Anthony Davis. I think it's going to be Anthony Davis and Giannis or Giannis LeBron. But like I said, it's going to be a matchup. It's going to be a matchup game. We're going to see how that pans out. But like I said, man, the, everything about this tournament has been exciting. The, the courts, I mean, the courts have been phenomenal. The play styles, the players are really showing up to play. They're not taking off. They're not, you know, they're not low managing anymore. The last, the last minute games, everything, every game's come down to the stretch. The high scoring games, a lot of these games are both teams are scoring at least 130 points per game. And then the tenacity, the the physicalness in this game, in these games too. It's not just yes, the defense is not not as this is, but down the stretch. They look like they want it. A lot of these players really want it. It's like a playoff atmosphere in December. I'm Silver, you've been cooking. You need to get your hat. You need to get your hat because you've been cooking. That's all I gotta say for this video. If y'all enjoyed, give your ball a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Give me to a thousand subscribers before the end of this year's over. I appreciate y'all tuning in this video for these videos. You've been bold. Well, and I'm out. It's the end season tournament. Listen, I'm gonna just keep it real. They they not fighting for the trophy. They fighting for that 500,000. I'm gonna just keep it all the way 100. So it, it is very exciting what they're doing, but it ain't about the trophy. It's about each player getting that 500. Well, whatever the motivation is, as long as it matters to you. I'm telling you, that's what the motivation is.